Can digital spring reverb pedals keep up with the real deal? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Chris for Two Ones Guitars and Basses. What if you're a huge spring reverb fan, but your amp doesn't have one? Or it has a spring reverb, but you cannot switch it. So you have to keep it always on and you don't want that. Let's check out a great collection of spring reverb pedals for every budget. Topanga from Kettle and Bread. It has four knobs, dwell, tone, and mix, which are pretty obvious and uh, they explain themselves. And there's one more volume, which is nice. If you have it at its minimum setting, you have sort of a unity volume and you can boost your sound with it. So it's basically a clean boost and a reverb in one, which is nice if you want to use it for like lead playing. <laughs> J-Rocket Boing, the coolest name, and just one huge knob, and uh, that's uh, exactly my kind of pedal. <laughs> what I love about the Boing's trail is first of all that it has some sort of a modulation going on a really subtle one but you can definitely hear it and it also has this sort of spring flutter sound this one which is also cool because it's not always the same spring flutter simulation it depends on the probably the dynamics of your picking how it sounds and what kind of um, waveform it has. It's, it's really nice. One third full <laughs> spring reverb. <laughs> Guillaume, where are you when I need you? <laughs> I'm sorry for the pronunciation. It is really small. It's great for pedal boards, which are really crowded. Very nice, versatile. You have the depth, the volume, and the tone with which you can decide for go for a long tail with a lower mix setting or the other way around or whichever way you prefer it. It's a nice, uh, slightly modulated warping tail. That's something I enjoyed about it. And just like a tape delay would, it sort of becomes more and more dull. And uh, that's, that's an interesting, nice uh, reverb sound. I like it. TC Electronic Drip Spring Reverb. It's an affordable pedal. I love the spring reverb sound of it, like the actual effect, what the, uh, the pedal does. I don't enjoy that much what it does to the guitar's dry sound. It sucks a little liveliness and a little volume too. It's not terrible, but you sort of feel that. And um, there's a little hiss like a ground noise. It's not terrible again. It's just something you kind of hear. As told, it's not miserable, it's just something that you notice.
Source Audio True Spring Reverb. It's not just a reverb, it's the most expensive one here today, but it offers so much more. It's very similar to the Flint from Strymon, which means that it has a reverb side and a tremolo side. You can access all the details and all the specs and everything through the Neuro app, with which you can choose different tanks and spring sizes and everything. And uh, you can do the same thing for the tremolo side. So it's way more than just a spring reverb. <laughs> If you don't want to mess around with the Source Audio app, you can access all the tremolo settings and everything on the pedal itself with the secondary function of the knobs. Dan Electro Spring King. It's a proper spring reverb, it's not a digital pedal. It's uh, not huge, so you will not have this kind of huge tank spring reverb sound. It's analog, it's a little noisy, but it has a kick pad. And that's pretty cool. Or is it? Let me know in the comments. Let's compare all these pedals with the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe's actual spring reverb. I'll play the same thing. Let's see how they sound. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like our videos, hit subscribe and ring the bell, it would be awesome. And let me know in the comments section which pedal was your favorite, which came closest to the actual spring reverb. If I had to choose, I think I'd go with this one, the Boeing. I love that it's just one knob, I love the modulation in it and this flutter, so it's pretty cool. But the others are nice too. You guys take it easy, we'll see each other very soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est Fon, euh, rive, le rive, de l'esprit. So sorry. <laughs>